Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Kareem. I hope your Ramadan been going well. Welcome to our second semi final of Ikra Talent Show. The first talent show that Ikra Bangla is doing on Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. I'm your host for this second semi final. My name is Abul Hasnat and I hope your Ramadan's going well. Uh, I ask for you to make dua for me and my family and everyone that's here with me in the show. And likewise, we shall be making duas for you and we make dua for the Ummah, inshallah. I'm going to start by introducing our judges. So I'm going to very quickly go over because we've got so much packed in this uh, second semi final. Um, and firstly, I'd like to introduce Shaykh Al Hadith Mufti Abdurrahman. Asalaamu As Alaikum, Shaykh. Secondly, I'd like to introduce Sheikh Mufti Abdul Muntaqin. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Third, I'd like to introduce Sheikh Maulana Fayez Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Uh, then I'd like to introduce Ustad Maulana Abdul Basit. Assalamu alaikum. And finally, I'd like to introduce Ustad Maulana Hussein Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. That's our five judges there. I'd like to also give the recognition to our four. Um, sponsors for this program who are Madinatul Ulum Habibpur Madrasha, Jamiatul Khair Al Islamia Silet, Bishnat Madani Madrasa, and lastly the Al Khair Foundation. These are our four sponsors. I've introduced our five uh, judges. I'm your host, Abul Hasnat. Now, the main people of the show are my contestants here. So, first and foremost, we have our semi finalists from last time that have returned. Um, they've they were willing to stay behind to see this semi-final. And then I have our se five semi-finalists here. So I'm going to do what I, do in, uh, what I did in the last semi-final. I'll introduce each contestant one by one who will go up onto the stage and perform in front of the four judges. Once their performance is finished, then one of the judges will give us some comments. And we will repeat that for all five. And at the very end, the five judges will give me um, their calculation on which three will go through. We initially were saying two, but now three will go through to make the six contestants of the final, inshallah. So, before, without any further ado, I will start by introducing our first contestant, which is going to be Nafisur Rahman. Bismillah. <laughs> My name is Nafis and today I'm going to say Nasheed. And Nurullahi Fajran, Shitta Bad al Usuri Usuran, Rabbuna Ala Kakadran, Ya Imam al Ambiya E, and Tafil Mujdani Hayun, and Tafil Ainani Dayun, and Tind al Hodiayun. أنت حاد وصفي يا حبيبي يا محمد يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام Salawatul alayka Yartawi bil hubbi kalbi Hubbi khayri rusli rabbi Man bihi absartu darbi Ya shafi'i ya rasulallah Ayyuhal muhtarru fina Zadana al hubbu hanina Zittana bil khayri يا ختام المرسلين يا حبيبي يا محمد يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك ما شاء الله. ما شاء الله. If everyone can join me to say ما شاء الله. 
Well done. Our first performance for the second semi-finalist. I'm going to go straight to the judges to go to Sheikh Al-Hadith, Mufti Abdurrahman. Sheikh, if we can get some comments from you, inshallah. Jazakum Allah. Nafis Rahman. Name is, mashallah. Nafis mean uh, excellent and valuable things. It's called Nafis. So, mashallah, your Nasir also, mashallah, was Nafis. And beautiful your performance, mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you bright future, mashallah. We are very happy with you. Jazakumullah. Thank you very much. Jazakumullah. Amen. Thank you very much, Sheikh. Um, Nafisu, well done. First performance for this second semi final. Take a seat. Um, I hope you enjoyed that performance at home as well. Hope you, some of you may be to join in with it. Um, and of course, thank you to our Sheikh for giving some very uh, constructive feedback. Now, I am going to go to our second performance of the night, which is going to be Taha Rahman. So, Taha, if you can adjust the mic just to go closer to your mouth, and when you're ready, introduce yourself and let the chef, um, chefs know which you're performing and then begin. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'll be singing Nasheed. Mawla ya salli wa sallim da'iman abadan ala habibika khayri khalki kullihimi. Mawla ya salli wa sallim da'iman abadan ala habibika khayri khalki kullihimi. Muhammadun sayyidu kawnayni wa saqalayn. Muhammadun sayyidu kawnayni wa saqalayni wa alfari. Qayni min urbin wa min najami Mawla ya salli wa sallim da'iman Abadan ala habi Bika khayri khalki kullihimi Huwa al-habi Bulladhi turja shafa'atuhu Huwa al-habi Bulladhi turja shafa'atuhu li kulli hao limmin al-ahwali muqtahami Mawla ya salli wa sallim da'iman abadan ala habi bika khayri al-khalki kullihimi Nabiyun al- Amirun nahi fala ahadun Nabiyun al Amirun nahi fala ahadun Abar rafi kawli la minhu wa la na ami Mawla ya salli wa sallim da'iman abadan ala habi Bika khayri khalki kullihimi Mashallah, if everyone can join us and say mashallah Taha, I want you to stay up there because we are going to get your comments from Sheikh Mufti Abdul Muntakim, inshallah Sheikh, when you're ready, if you can take the microphone and give us some comments. MashaAllah, Taha Rahman, sound is very good. Uh, your performance, MashaAllah, and confidence level is, MashaAllah, very good. I pray for you. Thank you very much. Amen, MashaAllah. Thank you, Sheikh. Taha, do you want to come and take a seat? That's our second performance done for tonight. Well done, Taha, and well done to uh, Nafisut, the first two performances. Right. We are going to move straight on to our third performance. And that shall be Sardish Hassan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Sarzish and inshallah today I would like to do a speech. 
ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله سبحانه وتعالى والسابقون الاولون من المهاجرين والانصار والذين اتبعوهم باحسان رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه واعد لهم جنات تجري جنات تجري تحتها الانهار خالدين فيها ابدا ذلك الفوز العظيم today I stand before you to talk about the intense struggle of the early Muslims during the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam for the cause of Islam guided by both the Quran and the sayings of our beloved Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam The Quran says in surah Tawbah ayah 100 Allah is well ple- will be well pleased with the Muhajirun and the Ansar and those who follow in good deeds and they will be pleased with him he has prepared for them gardens, graced with flowing rivers for them to remain forever. That is the supreme triumph. Allah also says in the Quran in Surah An-Kabut, Ayah 69, وَالَّذِينَ جَهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا وَإِنَّ اللَّهُ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ and those who strive for us, we will surely guide them to our ways. And indeed, Allah is with the doers of the good. This verse encapsulates the essence of the struggle of the early Muslims. Despite facing immense challenges, they remain steadfast in their dedication to Allah's cause, knowing that their actions won't go unrewarded. Furthermore, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam says, according to a narration by Abu Huraira, that the stronger believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weaker believer. However, there is good in both. But cherish that which benefits you in the hereafter. Seek help from Allah and do not lose heart. Sahih Muslim, Book 46, Hadith 52. Picture the early days of Islam in Mecca, a time of much persecution and struggle and immense challenges. Yet, the Prophet Muhammad and his followers clung to their faith, driven by an unwavering conviction to the faith and the truth. Despite the risks involved, the Prophet Muhammad and his companions, the Sahaba, remained firm to their faith, persevered, and undertook the Hijrah to establish a community based on the principles of Islam. This act of sacrifice and devotion led to the foundation for the growth and spread of Islam. One pivotal moment in their journey was the Battle of Badr. Despite having limited resources, being in a bad position, and facing a formidable enemy, the Sahaba still persevered and stood firm, guided by Prophet Muhammad trust in Allah's plan. And this victory left an enduring mark and also solidified the existence of Islam. Reflect also on the Battle of Uhud, a tapestry woven with bravery and resilience. Despite their losses, the Sahaba remained firm and stood alongside our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In Surah Al-Imran, Ayah 146, Allah comforts them, promising unwavering support if they remain patient. وَكَأَيِّمْ مِنْ نَبِيٍ قَاتَلَ مَعْهُ رِبِّيُّونَ كَثِيرٌ فَمَا وَهَنُوا لِمَا أَصَابَهُمْ فِي سَمِيلِ اللَّهِ وَمَا ضَعْفُوا وَمَا اسْتَكَانُوا وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الصَّابِرِينَ And how many fought with the Prophet, uh, and how many Prophet fought in battle, and with them fought many religious scholars. 
but they never lost assurance due to what afflicted them in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nor did they weaken or submit. And Allah loves the steadfast. As we strive to embody their virtues, we walk the same path that they, that they walked. The Times example continues to guide us, echoing the words of our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who said, Do not abuse my companions. For if any one of you spend gold equal to Mount Uhud, it will not even compare, be equal to uh, mud or even half a mud spent by them. Sahih Bukhari, Book 62, Hadith 23. In conclusion, the struggle of the early Muslims serve as a timeless reminder of, pow of the power of faith and perseverance. May we strive to implement their example in our lives seeking guidance from the teachings of the Qur'an and the teachings of our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rabbana la tazir qulubana ba'da adh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka anta al wahhab. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salam ala al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Jazakum Allah khairan for listening. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to act upon this. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Everyone join me in saying mashallah. Okay. I, I, if I can ask, um, well done there, um, Sarzish as well, That's, uh, from me as well. Um, if I can ask comments from Sheikh Mawlana Fayez Ahmed, inshallah, I can pass the microphone over. Alhamdulillah, well done, mashallah, for your beautiful speech. How are you? I'm good, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I'll, um, I pray to Allah, um, you become good alim and dai uh, like Mufti Abdurrahman Saab. Allah Amen. accept our all good deed. And now I'm going to introduce our fourth contestant, which is going to be Samiha Tahrim. Samiha, if you want to go up onto the stage. And when you're ready, Samiha, you want to step forward next to the mic and introduce yourself to the sheikhs and then begin your performance. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Samiha Tahrim and I'm going to be telling you a story about a date tree in heaven. Once upon a time there was a date tree. The owner of the date tree is very was very rich but his attitude was very cheap. He had a poor neighbour but would never share any dates with his poor neighbour. Even when the children pick the, pick the dates that have fallen under the tree, he would snatch them away. Even when they would eat it, he would snatch them away too. Once the neighbour had enough and went to Prophet Muhammad sallam and complained and Prophet sallam was like <gasps> and then Prophet sallam went to went to the rich man and offered him to donate that tree to his poor neighbour but the man refused that offer the greedy man refused that offer and when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu <coughs> was leaving, a good man who heard the whole conversation went to went to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and asked him, "If I donate that tree to you, will I get a date tree in heaven?" And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, "Yes." Stay there. We're going to get some comments for you. Uh, so if I get the mic pushed over to Ustad Mulan Abdul Basit. Oh. <laughs> I should have given the mic from the beginning. Yeah, Ustad. Oh, Samiha, marvelous, mashallah, wonderful. I enjoyed thoroughly, mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you, say, a long, long and beautiful stories in future, inshallah. Amen. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair, Shaykh. Well done, um, Samiha, that was amazing. Mashallah, that was an amazing performance from Samiha. Right, that's four contestants done. The final contestant for tonight is going to be Samir Ahmed.
And when you're ready, Samir, if you can introduce yourself to the judges and begin your performance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Samir Ahmad, and inshallah, today I'll be performing the Azan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an. أشهد أن محمد رسول الله هيا على الصلاة هيا على الصلاة هيا على الفلا So everyone join me saying, MashaAllah. Yes. So stay there for me, Samir. We're going to hear the final set of comments from Ustad Mawlana Hussain Ahmed, inshallah. MashaAllah, amazing performance. Uh, well done to Samir Ahmed. Inshallah, make more practice, inshallah. Practice will make perfect. Uh, inshallah, we wish for the bright future, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair, Sir. Samir, do you want to take a seat? Um, that is our five performances for this episode, for this second um, set of semi-finals. Inshallah, as we announced in the last episode, we're going to have three people going through to have six finalists. So, I'm on my, over to my left, as you can see, our judges are di very diligently getting the scores calculated. In that time, I shall ask my five performers to go up onto the stage, please. I hope you at home have enjoyed their performances. I certainly have. I know our judges have. And we've had some amazing, very brave of them. It's not easy coming up on TV, performing in front of judges, in front of other contestants, in front of an audience. But I think, and I hope you guys at home will agree with me, that these five have given us amazing performance, as did our five from um, the previous semi-final. But we can only have three go through to the final. Um, so I'm going to look over to my... Sheikh here and ask, are you ready to give me the results? Alhamdulillah. Yes, Ustad, I'm ready. There's your Sheikh. Subhanallah. Thank you very much. Right. Um, the three of you that will be going through to the final are Bismillah. Taha Rahman. MashaAllah. Sarajish Hassan. MashaAllah, well done. And lastly, going through to the final with you two is Samir Hatahrim. MashaAllah. <laughs> As Sheikh was saying um, previously, every single one of you know, I'm going to actually pass it over to um, uh, Sheikh to make a few comments to all five of you. Um, really, we enjoyed. But Alhamdulillah, I need to say to Taha Rahman, as Mufti al Sahib, he commented about your uh, nasheed, um, just try to make your voice a little bit up, inshallah. Very nice, fantastic. And about Samiha Rahman, mashallah, we, especially me, 
I was lost when you were, you know, saying a story. Alhamdulillah. Um, I think, inshallah, in the final, inshallah, you will do better than that, inshallah. And you will re remember the whole story, inshallah. And about you, alhamdulillah, you've done amazing things. Um, just uh, you need to just to look at the ayat, inna allaha, instead of inna allahu. All other, mashallah, you said that, um, about the merit of sahaba, the amazing, mashallah. Jazakumullah for your performance, performance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. I'm, I'm going to ask the audience, everyone, to join me in, um, in congratulating these five. Takbir. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Take a seat. That's the end of our second of the semi finals. Inshallah, we had amazing performances in the last semi final and today, but we can only have six go through the final. We know who the six are, so inshallah, I hope you've enjoyed this program. I hope you enjoyed all the performances that we had in the semi finals. Hope you will join us for the final, inshallah, when only six of them are going to perform to see who wins um, this year's um, Ikra talent show, the first talent show done in Ramadan in Ikra Bangla TV. I'd like to thank um, the judges here. Thank you very much for that. And thank our audience that joined us. I'd like to thank all ten of you. I'd like to thank you at home. We hope you join us for the final. Until then, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Karim. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.